Hi, everyone. Welcome to BoatingTechTalk.com. We've got a question from a fellow boater. This boater, William, asks, Jeff, my 48 trawler has a separate full-size AC fridge and AC freezer. They are in good condition, and I really don't want to replace them with 12-volt models. Okay, makes sense. Does that mean that when I leave the boat, the inverter has to stay on? What happens if I lose shore power? Will it drain my house battery? And lastly, I don't want to take the food out every time I leave the boat. Well, yeah, that's a tough question. And by the way, you're not the only one who's hesitant to change a working, a good working a refrigerator to swap it from 120 to 12 volt to solve this problem. But the reality is if you've got an inverter on your boat, it's going to be really the only way to power those devices. Now, you could have them powered directly from shore power and not the inverter when you're connected to shore. That's definitely a possibility. Many inverters offer what's called a pass-through feature, and it's not uncommon uh, for your AC panel to be either powered by shore power, by generator, or by inverter. So you could disable your inverter and have your shore power be the only source powering the fridge and freezer. Now, the good news is if you lose shore power, if you lose shore power, your inverter won't be on and your fridge and freezer will stop working, but your house battery won't drain. Now, the flip side is if you lose shore power and you don't have the inverter on, you're going to lose the contents of that fridge. As boaters, we're stuck between a hard place, right? A rock and a hard place. What are we going to do? You either can choose to protect your batteries and I not have the inverter on when you're connected to shore power, or you can have your inverter on standby. Mind you, the loads are powered by shore power while they're there, but the moment that shore power disappears, then you have a window of opportunity to go to your boat and resolve the issue. The challenge is not all of us have an ability to go to our boat every day, every other day, or even every week. So if you lose shore power and you're not and you're not there and you may be on travels or there's a storm or something happened and you're not aware that you lost shore power, then yes, you're just delaying the inevitable. Your fridge is going to run off your batteries for a day, two days, three days. Maybe it's going to run for a week. But if you miss that window, and now the batteries are drained. And the inverter did it what it could off the batteries to power that fridge and freezer. But eventually, they're completely drained. So now you have two problems. You've got rotting food in your fridge and freezer because the batteries are not going to be able to sustain that fridge and freezer forever, not like shore power. And you have a battery bank that's completely drained. So most of us are going to run an AC fridge and freezer only on shore power at the dock and make sure that whatever perishables are in that fridge, whatever they are, if ever you lose that fridge or freezer, then nothing will leak. You'll lose the food. It's going to be pretty nasty, but you're not going to have lost also your battery bank in the process. And for some of you that have the opportunity of being on your boat every day, then this is probably a mute point. Then maybe having an inverter enabled on standby when you're unconnected on shore power is a good way to make sure that if you ever lose shore power for a 24-hour period, you'll be back at the boat the next day. You'll deal with the issue, run the generator, empty the fridge, empty the freezer, and you just get away with it. But for many of us, we don't have that option. And so hence, I would caution anyone on enabling an inverter to keep your fridge and freezer powered when you're disconnected from shore power. Because sometimes that disconnect isn't just the grid going down or a storm causing power to go off. It could be inadvertently someone disconnecting your shore power cord. And that's something that there's really no remedy until someone reconnects your boat. And so that's a great question for William. It's, it's totally a pickle. There's no perfect answer here. But it's really about understanding the pros and cons of our choices. So thanks for asking the question. And thanks for all of you for listening. I appreciate the opportunity to share. If you're curious, we've written whole articles about this. Go on our website, search it out. Uh, and we've got a lot of other uh, tech talks about this very topic. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do. Um, it actually, it really does make a difference. It encourages us to keep posting. So if you're watching this video and haven't had a chance to subscribe, 
we really do care because the more of you that are watching, the more of us over here are willing to spend more time in creating content. So thanks again.